It's fall, my favorite time of the year. It's starting to get colder outside and the leaves are changing colors. Then they'll fall from the trees. And some animals also need to get ready for this change in the weather. Let's go on a nature walk today and learn all about the changes that we see in the fall. I love fall because it's so beautiful. I live in an area where there are lots of trees, and most of those trees are called deciduous trees. A deciduous tree is a tree that loses its leaves to prepare for winter. Deciduous trees change with every season. It grows leaves in the springtime, then the leaves get bigger and the tree stays green through the summer. Then the colors change and the leaves fall off in autumn, which we also call fall, and the tree branches stay bare or empty in the winter. And then the whole cycle starts all over again when spring comes. We see so much change in the fall. The leaves that were once bright and green are now turning all kinds of colors, from bright yellow to shiny red to bold orange and even soft brown. Each kind of tree changes differently, so we see all kinds of colors together at the same time. Some leaves change color all over, and some have more than one color on each leaf. It all makes for a very beautiful display of colors. So we know that it's pretty, but why does this happen? Well, to understand this process, we need to think like scientists. We need to understand how trees and their leaves grow first. Trees need food and water to grow, just like us. Trees get their water from their roots. A tree's roots are the parts of the tree we usually don't see because they're under the ground. When it rains, the rainwater soaks into the ground and the tree can drink up the water and the nutrients or vitamins in the soil or the dirt like a straw using its roots. This is why places that get a lot of rain or snow have more trees because it's a healthier place for trees to grow. But how do they eat? Well, a tree eats with its leaves. The leaves can absorb or take in sunlight and also something called carbon dioxide in the air. We can't see it, but we can make it. Take a deep breath. Now breathe out. That breath that came out is actually carbon dioxide. So inside the leaves, this carbon dioxide as well as energy from the sun, changes to healthy sugars that the tree can eat. This process is called photosynthesis. So in a way, we help to feed the trees with every breath we take, and the trees help us too. The air we breathe also has something called oxygen in it. It's something else that we can't see, but it is very important because we cannot breathe without it. When the trees change carbon dioxide to their food, their leaves make and release oxygen for us to breathe. So trees are our friends. We both need each other to live. Have you ever looked really closely at a leaf? A leaf is made up of cells, which are little tiny living building blocks that make up each leaf. And each leaf has lots of cells. We are made of tiny cells too, just like every living thing. But a leaf cell is special. They have something inside them called chlorophyll. When trees make their food from the sun's energy and carbon dioxide, Chlorophyll makes it happen. Without chlorophyll, trees can't make their food. And guess what? 
chlorophyll is also green and gives leaves their green color. Now that we understand how a tree gets its food, we can learn about why trees get their fall colors. The leaves can't make food in the winter because they would freeze and there's not enough sunlight in the winter time. So when fall starts and the daytime gets shorter and it gets colder outside, the leaves know that it's time to stop using and making chlorophyll. So the leaves lose their green color and then we see all the fall color shades of yellow, orange, red, and brown. When you see trees that no longer have green leaves, it means they're done eating until spring. And since the tree doesn't need the leaves anymore, it drops them to the ground. And maybe that's why we call it fall, since the leaves are falling. Healthy trees have all the food and nutrients they need to last them through the winter, and then they'll grow new leaves to get more food in the spring. But there are other kinds of trees that don't lose their leaves. Pine trees. These trees are called coniferous trees. Instead of leaves, they have pine needles, and they also make pine cones to grow new trees. Their pine needles are tough and protected from the cold, so they keep their needles all year. But sometimes the needles get old and they still fall to the ground, so the tree can grow new healthy ones. This is why pine trees stay big and green in the winter and why they can become beautiful Christmas trees. Leaves are not only pretty to look at, but fun to play with too. It's so much fun to use a rake to make a big pile of leaves and then jump in it. Trees are able to prepare for the cold of winter by getting enough food in the spring, summer, and fall to last them through the winter. Animals do this too. Squirrels are busy gathering nuts and acorns that fall from the trees. They put them in their dens, which are little holes in trees or in the ground where they can stay nice and warm in the cold weather. They try to collect as much food as they can to last them through the long, cold winter. Many animals do this, like chipmunks, ants, birds, and mice. Fall sure is a busy time for these critters. Some animals begin to migrate in the fall. Migrating means when an animal leaves to go somewhere warmer before it gets too cold. Do you hear that sound? That's a goose. Geese migrate in the fall. They fly south to where it's warmer and then will return north in the spring when the weather gets warm again. Geese usually fly together in the shape of a V. Nature walks are a lot of fun because you get to see all kinds of things. Check out this guy. He's called a millipede. He's like a big worm with lots of tiny legs. Look at him march. And look at this sweet caterpillar. She's trying to get off this walking path and back into the grass to stay safe. We also got lucky and spotted some deer, but they didn't let us get too close. I also enjoy the peaceful sounds of a nature walk. I can hear birds singing, the wind blowing, and the crunching of the leaves that have already fallen under my feet. Take a listen. Today sure was a lot of fun, and we learned a lot about how trees change in the fall. Thanks for joining me on this nature walk. If you can, 
get outside on your own nature walk. You might be surprised at what you find. See you next time.